Hi, we're here today in Oakland, California, and we're experiencing some beautiful weather. And as we're inhaling all of this good fresh air, I would like to remind you of the candle that you're burning in your home. That candle that you're burning in your home, if it is a soot burning candle, you are polluting your air, you are causing harm to your family and to your personal property. We ask you to examine a better, healthier choice candle, which is the Options 2000 All Natural Soy Candle. That candle is environmentally safe. It burns clean. It's 100% soy, and it's a candle that you would love to have around your family and around your pets and around your loved ones. Greetings, listening audience. My name is Charles Lovelace, and I am the founder and director of Options 2000. And we want to thank you for this opportunity to be able to share with you about a very important subject matter that is very pressing on our heart. What we are, uh, would like to inform you is and deal with is the candle industry. The candle industry is a $2.7 billion industry. And there are some things that the industry is not informing us as consumers of. As I researched and got this information for myself, I also wanted to pass it on to others that are candle lovers out there. And I ask you the question, are you a candle lover? If you are, you would want to hear this information. Hi, my name is Cara, and I wanted to share with you uh, an experience that I had several years ago when I was burning candles. I took some old candles that I had, and I stuck them on the stove. Unfortunately, I forgot about them until after I got out of the bath, and I uh, noticed that my apartment was full of smoke. So I opened the door, and I noticed this little flame on the pot on the stove that I wasn't able to extinguish. So uh, I threw water on it, I took towels, and I was trying to beat it out, and ultimately I ended up calling the fire department. Uh, thank God I did, because the fire department showed up, and there was a huge explosion through my apartment. The fire instantly sparked and hit the ceiling and went through the whole apartment. Um, they couldn't believe, even the fire department, uh, that I was only burning candle wax. It was later discovered, um, uh, and I'm, I'm not sure when the fire department discovered it, that uh, paraffin actually reaches, paraffin being uh, what most candles are made from, reaches a flashpoint. Um, it was a combination of events that led to that fire. It was um, the um, heater being on, uh, it was hot in the apartment, and the candle wax had actually boiled on the stove. I had allowed it to boil, to boil. And the um, chemicals um, rose to the ceiling. Um, of course, you couldn't see anything on the top of the ceiling, but once he placed the pot under the water and turned it on, it created a small spark, and that instantly uh, ignited the ceiling and all of the fumes that were hovering above. That was my experience, and since then, I've never burned another paraffin candle. I strictly buy soy candles. Um, I don't have nearly as much problems with uh, burning on my walls. Uh, even the smell of the candles is completely different. It's much cleaner, and I, and I don't have to worry about having chemicals floating around in my house, uh, around my children, or above in my, on my ceiling. I ask the question to individuals that I speak to, do they know the difference between soot and soy? Soot and soy, S-O-O-T and soy, S-O-Y. They both sound alike, they both start with an S, but nevertheless they are different. And let us talk about the difference between the two. If you are a candle lover and you are uh, burning a candle and you burn a candle in your home, and you find that your candle is emitting a great deal of this black stuff that is here around this candle, then you have a soot burning candle. In informing you about the uh, soot that we've spoken about, this soot right here, this black uh, stuff that's around this uh, candle jar, is what is dangerous to our health. 
the black stuff uh, destroys our uh, personal property as well as our health. Now, what's important for us to know that that soot that is emitting into our atmosphere is worse than secondhand smoke. Let me repeat that because this is very alarming to many candle lovers out there. They have not been told, but that soot is worse than secondhand smoke. It has the same chemical elements in it as secondhand smoke. Some of the elements, just to name a few, is benzene, formaldehyde. Now, if you don't smoke, would you allow someone to come up in your home and smoke a cigarette? I don't think you would. But we are innocently because we're not being informed as to how dangerous that soot is. And worst of all, the micromolecules that we ingest into our system adheres itself to cells and it is known to cause cancer. The soot is cosmogenic. Now if something is that bad about soot on an innocent candle that we burn, don't you think that we should be made more aware of it? We should be made more aware of it as the a Surgeon General with a cigarette pack put on the back of it that caution warning this product can be harmful to your health and it has been known to cause cancer that same bit of information should be also put on the label of a candle it should be put there so we can make the decision on whether we want to continue to burn a soot burning candle in our homes so we hope that this information that we're giving you today will also help you to make that decision now another thing that we're not being informed of in dealing with the industry is that over 10 to 30 percent of the candles that are being imported into America have lead wicks. I uh, have here in my possession a candle that possesses a lead wick. For information and educational purpose, if you look closely here, you'll see that this wick here has um, a wire uh, extending from it, which is a lead wick. This lead wick is not known to consumers. If you're out there purchasing a candle, uh, you won't be able to tell if a candle has a lead wick or not. Lead wick is toxic. It's poison to us as individuals. If that lead gets and we consume it and we get it in our system, we will get lead poison. It's irreversible with our health uh, problems that we can experience. So in looking at the candle, we see that we have a very large industry that's behind it. Behind the candle industry is the OPEC industry because of the fact that petroleum is needed in order to make these candles. That's what they're making out of, making the candles out of. So we want you to know that. So is the consumer uh, health, is the consumer safety, is uh, the utmost uh, importance here? No, it's not. It is the selling of these candles. Now, those candles are bad for me that's made from petroleum, that's made from paraffin. Uh, those candles are bad for me. They're not good for inhaling. Now, we would like to offer you an alternative to those candles that you're burning in your home today. The alternative to those candles that you're burning in your home today would be the uh, soy candle. I hold here in my presence a soy candle. This soy candle is 100% clean burning kosher soy oil. It's 140 hours soot free, a non-toxic candle. It burns coolly at 106 degrees, yet remains warm to the touch without burning the skin. One of uh, these soy candles can scent up to 2,500 square feet area. Soy wax is all natural, and that's what we offer to you, a soy wax in replace of the petroleum uh, wax candle. You can actually take your finger, dip it in the candle, and moisturize the skin with the oil. Um, this oil has vitamin E in it. It is um, biodegradable. Uh, it can be uh, washed up with warm soap and water. So you get a very good, holistic, healthy choice candle when you are indulging in getting a soy candle. Thank you very much. Hi, we bring you greetings from the Candle Lovers Inner Circle Club. And with that club membership, you can also receive education and knowledge about what is going on in the um, candle industry. We would like to continue to inform you and keep you updated on the areas of soy candles, on the areas of soot burning candles, because we know that soot burning candles are harmful to our health.